presented to, to me back in the 80s. I was out there quite a rough day and there was an angling boat that went out ahead of us. They went out six o'clock in the morning. I didn't go out till that past nine and I passed them off. They were on the way to down. About, about a mile back to the western from me and my crew member said they're going round and round. I said, well, that's odd because there isn't no wreck there. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, there isn't no wreck there. And all of a sudden he said, there's two to jumping off the bow. I said, what? He said, the two men just jumped off the bow and with that she went. So I said, oh, hell. We just dropped our first lot of rolls. I, I said to the boys, we'll wind up quick. So I put, put, put her on, I gave out three May days. I got there in about half an hour, I suppose. And it was a hell of a mess there because they had a full coil of 125 pounds of rope all around their heads, so I had, that was my job, to keep keep the boat away from the rope if I could. And I detailed my anglers on the way down, working prepares and do what we can. Well, the, 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 the first young lad, he's about 15, he swam to the boat, and we hooked him up easy enough. And his mum, mum and dad brought that down, brought that down to me the, 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 the next night. And anyway, come to the end, to cut a long story short, the uh, we, we 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 there was two two unconscious, so we we got they two first, and then we got the rest of them in. I had to kick out up on the deck, and all this flop 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 around the boat. That's what I was more concerned with. I got that rubber in me, probably out of action, but we we got them all in, and by that time my May Day was answered. A big um, sea king could come over my head, and he he switched on the radio to me. He said, "What's that mean?" I said, well, I got them all aboard. There was 10 on the boat, and I got them all aboard. He said, well, you've done a bloody fantastic job. He said, what they like? I said, I got two unconscious. He said, right, I'll drop the stretcher for that. So he, he, he told me what to do. He said, you steam to west, south west, five knots. He said, I'll do the rest. He said, you've got more, more help on the way out. I said, oh, he said, yeah. I said, what's that all about? He said, you've got two light boats on the way out. You've got the fast one and the big one. Well, I said, that's all right now. So it was too rough for the big one to come along beside me. So they sent the little rib and we transferred the, the other eight over and he took the two off the deck and the helicopter and put them straight to the hospital and they all lived. Because it, the, the wind freshened and freshened and by one o'clock up, see, that afternoon, see, I had to come in. Eight mile off the shore. So they'd have, every one of them would have been lost. But that, that's how I got that. His mum and dad and the young 15-year-old boy come down and, the next night and she was here crying her eyes out. And some joy, you know. So I think more of that. And I do, do, do all the 8,000 sharks I caught.